This is so funky and confusing. I think the genre is funk fusing. All right, G friend. So this one. Navilera. No. So we're reacting to their comeback called Fingertip. This one, they went for a little bit different of a vibe. So the concept for this music video is consciousness, awakening, and lucid dream. Uh, there's a fan theory about Orion. Do you guys know the Greek mythology story where Orion was like, yo, Artemis, bet you can't shoot me. And Artemis was like, ha ha, suck up. Oh, and Artemis Orion, just like kicked his ass. Yeah. Artemis is a bad bitch. Yeah. Well, basically the fan's theory is that the members of this group represent different Greek gods and like in a dream they're all like fighting and like a certain person's trying to kill the other one and they're trying to protect each other and stuff so man I'm gonna tap the space bar with my fingertip cool I like the contrast between the footsteps and the sound in the song yeah that's nice yeah especially how it echoed it's just sure. very nice I like also how it's like what's going on this in this muffle yeah. Wow. Talk box. Yeah, whoa. Hell yeah. What is happening? No words. If I could make that noise, I would. Wow, wow, wow. This is sick. Yeah, girl. I love it. Oh my god. Slap bass. Holy shit. Wow. Oh man, they've got slap bass. That's really dope. I don't know what that means. Oh, well, like it was a bass line. Oh, like you hear like right. Bruno Mars and like right. this, like Richmond and Fire. It's yeah. like, it's really sick. It's so good. What a jam. You weren't lying when you said funk orchestral. But I totally, I see what you mean. Like they're trying to be like a little darker, like you know, they're dressed darkly, but they're definitely not trying to be like. Yeah, it's like sassy in like an 80 pop funk way. Yeah. They're sassy. They're going for sassy. This like vocal line is quite resuscitative, like mood vibrant in that tone from Opera. Oh snap. Yeah. yeah. It's like spoken speech. Wait, it's spoken song. I'm just gonna say that that sounds like gunshots. So that's an example of text painting. I always like blend super well, but it's just because like the vocal quality is so similar. This is true. The harmonies seem what? a little basic, but kind of groovy and then it like really catches the ear. Good. Good counterpoint to the instrument so far. Keeping that as a consistent factor. I love that bass line. Yeah. I'm That's still so into it. Nice a little breather. I like it. A little bit of air. Yeah. Because it is quite instrumentally dense. Uh -huh. Man, I was going to say with like all the effects and stuff like that that you hear in the rhythm section, it's kind of giving me, like it's something I would hear like Michael Jackson or like people from the like, yeah. 80s or that time period do. They just kind of repeated like the same thing four times but with different endings. You know what a big turnoff is for me? It's a small thing, but it's very present. It's the, it's the high string synths. Oh yeah. This bug me. Just hire a string quartet and molt every track. I love how it's like tight harmony pretty much the whole time. Oh yeah. Like the no. harmonies are pretty solid. Yeah, there's not much like solo. Like some of them are featured, but. Um, They're solo featured, harmony. but it's never, yeah. 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 I love that guitar, like, you know, that guitar uh, feedback sound. Just got in. Just slap the bass away. Me. Ow. Yeah, also, Victor wouldn't be on the bass. Oh, she got your ass. Nice instrumental. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, another good note. Holy oh, shit. Together. That bass feels tight. Yeah. Damn. I like the little swell effects they got going on. You, you like feel it's like oh, subtle. Yeah. And now we're in a like, different like time yeah. or like different tempo and like different groups. Yeah. That's kind of like gutsy to do. It sounds differently, more like watery. Oh yeah. With the like. Like almost spacey too. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what was that all about? That was too sudden for me. That was uh. Just for the music video. Oh. Oh, I don't the song. Okay, well, okay. Now that I know that, I feel like the song needs a break. Like, this is way long. No! Oh, no! Oh, she can't die, though. She's in a 
turn green. We're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. good. We're good. Guitar solo! Kind of. But then we see the voice blends with the guitar again. Yeah, the guitar was like mixed into yeah. the background instrumentals. Oh, was it all a dream? Yeah. It was like what happened, like, right? It was a dream. Yeah. Lucid dreaming. Or was it? What was it? Da, 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 da. You should have paid attention to the time. Uh, no, that's where it started. Like, that's where the. It went. What? There he is. It's Orion. You're right, that is Orion. This group, again, just the best instrumental counter melodies. Yeah. This is so funky and confusing. I think the genre is funk fusing. Wow, wow. That bass is so good. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> Man, I was waiting for, for some consciousness and awakening to happen. Well, she woke up at the end, I guess she? she woke up. I was expecting something more meta. That was really cool. Yeah? Yeah, so other than that, what do you think of this song overall? It worked pretty well. Um, it was interesting, it was captivating. Yeah. The melody was pretty strong for the most part. Uh, it grooved. Yeah, yeah, I thought it grooved great. Man, there was a lot of sound effects. Yeah. Like. Whether or not it's like pedals or things like that, or just different patches in the synthesizers, just not like over the top, but it was really, really nice. Yeah. It was really bizarre. It was just like all there, and then it went away, and there was just like this whole other thing, and then the other thing just came back. And it was like space, and then it's again. like 80s disco tech. Yeah, and then we were back to the other thing, and then. <laughs> It was a lot. I really liked the space. I liked it a lot. I actually really enjoyed it. It was just like a little confusing. It's the space interlude. I kind of wish like that was the song. And then the rest of it was like the, the funky groove was the shorter part. I was kind of thrown off that they like were all singing in harmony together all the time. Like there was never a moment where it was just like one strong vocalist above all the others. Yeah, it's their didn't, voices just it didn't so really similar. seem like they had like a lead singer. Mm. You know, it was a fun song. It was much more involved, but it really didn't do anything too, like, aggressively complex, theoretically or, like, melodically or something like that. It was yeah. just, like, really good. It was super funky. I mean, whoever laid down that bass track, like, knew what they were doing, man. Yeah. Like, it was so good! No, like, it was good. It was just like, and it wasn't just like... And I'm still... It was like... Yeah. <laughs> It's always nice whenever you can tell the musicians are having fun with it too. Especially yeah. the studio guys, they must get bored playing pretty easy stuff. Yeah. Um, Harmonically, it was a little bit too basic, but at the same time, kind of caught the ear to a memorable point. Just thought it was too poppy, it's still too cute. Yeah, me. I mean like, I can deal with a song that's like harmonically simple, um, as long as like, the textures are nice, but this was just like, very straightforward and too much like the happening like like at the end of the keyboard like a highest register possible yeah and then all the bass and then their voices were super high and it just didn't feel full or round it felt thin I don't know that's like musical texture I suppose but um actually like the song itself just was like left a lot to be desired for such like a cool concept, you know? Well, first of all, the synth sound effect is pretty, like, like it's a very thin timbre, but they managed to mix it so that it's, it's still very prominent. I feel like it might get repetitive after a couple listens, but yeah. definitely not on first impression. I loved it, it was groovy! Was awesome. was so I catchy. loved the bass slide. Yeah, that's like such a genre choice. Yeah. It was great. Which was awesome. The singing was like mediocre, but really well blended and well, cool yeah. harmonies. If they like, had, like, none of their individual voices were like... If they had like stronger soloistic voices, it probably wouldn't have had such a good like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very tight sound. Yep. I loved the bass line. That was groovy. That was like... I like the yeah. talk, I like the talk box stuff and their decision, their use of different sounds. Yeah, that was really interesting. Because it hints that outer spacey vibe, but not going too outer spacey, if that makes sense. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see what other K-pop songs we're going to be reacting to, make sure that you check out our schedule in the description. If you're curious about songs that we're going to react to that aren't on our schedule yet, click right here or check out the description. And of course, a huge thank you to all our patrons who have helped to make our content better. If you want to become a patron, make sure you check out the description for more information or click this box right here. See you guys next time!